game that I thought was impossible to win. This team just will not be eliminated. Three majors and here, it will not go out quietly as Tundra did everything in this series to claim a victory and it was still not enough. This team just won't die. <laughs> they will not. The character sometimes can be decided when you fall or when you win, what comes through in the clutch moments. That's who you are. Game and Gladiators have been a dominant team throughout this year, but they've always done it through the upper bracket, right? They've always been clean 2-0s, 3-0s, not losing any games in their playoffs. This was a test for Game and Gladiators. This was a test to see whether or not when they get knocked down, whether or not they're going to get back up. And when they're down in a, a series, when they're down in game three, they manage to find a way to stand back up, stand tall, and push through. They will take down the TI-11 winners in Tundra, and they will move on to another lower bracket game. What a ridiculous series. Crazy. Honestly, I think Tundra are shocked. I don't think they can compute how this game is losable from the position they were in. They have four cores, they have Aghanim Scepters, they had early Roshans, none of it means anything. On that one wraparound on that Roche Pit, where Gaming smoked, they go through the Secret Shop, which allows them to finish the Divine, because you were struggling to get it off the Courier. The item timings and pickups from Duraccio were just way too damn clutch in this game. He ends this with 100,000 damage received and 80,000 dealt. No one is even close to either of those numbers here as he just puts the team on his back in game one and game three here. And Game and Gladiators willingly got up on his back. They gave everything to Duraccio. Nobody played for themselves. They all played for him. They believed in him, and that belief pays off in the most important game, perhaps for Rion Masters for him here. They stave off elimination, and they have a chance to go deeper. What a crazy series. What a crazy game three for Gaming Gladiators and Tundra just over the hour marker, but it's decided. Gaming Gladiators will be moving on and we will say goodbye to Tundra. We'll say hello to Tsunami with Gaming Gladiators on the main Thank stage. Thank you very much. I'm here with Quinn of Gaming Gladiators, which it seems like you're still reeling from that game, man. Of the series that you've played over your career, how does this rank up in terms of stress levels? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty up there. I went through the whole emotional roller coaster of like, you feel like there's this feeling in your guts when you're about to lose, and you f I felt that. And then we somehow still won. I don't really know what happened. I'm kind of in shock right now. Did you feel it during game one also? Because it seems like two times this series, you guys just pull a magic out of a hat. Uh, I mean, game one is a lot more chill, just in terms of heroes, and also you're not we're, like it's just game one, right? It's different when you're on when you're about to be eliminated. It's just different. زي ما تشوفون معنا كون من فريق جيم جلاديترز بعد فوز كان غير متوقع أبدا وأول سؤال سألنا يا وش كان شعوركم وأنتم في الجيم هذا وش ترتيب الجيم هذا من ناحية الأجيام اللي كانت مرة سترسفل بالنسبة لكم وكان الضغط فيها عالي قال صراحة هذه يعني من أكثر الأجيام اللي كان اللي كنت فيها في ضغط جدا كبير حتى في شعور دائما يكون كذا ببطنك مجرد ما أني كنت تحس إنك بتخسر الجيم تحس فيه وها حسيت فيه في الجيم هذا وما كنا متوقعين إنه بنفوز بس بطريقة إنه بيأخر إحنا فزنا ولا أدري أنا كيف فزنا أصلا وأيضا سألنا قلنا له وش تتوقع من يعني يعني وش وش اللي كان ممكن يصير في الجيم الأول لأنه في الجيم الأول بعد ما كنتوا بتفوزون قال صراحة الجيم الأول كان شوي تشل أخذنا هيروات يعني ما كنا متوقعين بنسوي فيها شيء كويس بس برضو بطريقة إنه بيأخر قدرنا نفوز it has actually been quite a while since you've been near the brink of elimination. You guys finally had your first loss on LAN in ages. What was it like? I know you yourself have told me that having losses is always one of the most painful parts of this competition to you, but you haven't had to do it in a while. So what was it like? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's rough. I mean, we've lost a lot of like individual series and lost a lot of games. Like our group stage is pretty rocky. So to be honest, like we're more used to losing at this tournament than I think we have been in any other. I mean, it always feels like absolute garbage, and I'm also pretty disappointed in my own play this tournament, so there's that that just sort of overshadows everything that is more what I'm thinking about and less about the losses and my own disappointment in myself. 
سالنا كوين ايضا سؤال ثاني في المقابله نتكلم عن شعوره وهو اول ما يعني من فتره جدا طويله ما كانوا في موقف انه ممكن يصير لهم من البطوله بالكامل الشيء هذا مره ما قد صار جيم جلاديتر زي ما احنا عارفين فايزين كل ما يجري السنه فكان الجواب يقول انه بصراحه انا كنت مركز على نفسي انا اكثر من اني مركز على انه احنا قريبين من الخساره لان انا اشوف اني ما اديت اداء كويس في البطوله ومستواي متدني مقابله في البطولات الاخرى I appreciate the introspection saying that you're kind of critical of your own performance, but I have to imagine after moving down to lower bracket for the first time, did you guys have a team talk? And is this something that you guys do often in general? Because you win so much, how do you even react as a team to losing on a stage like this? Uh, I mean, I think we have team talks after all of our losses, assessing, you know, what went wrong in the game, if people, you know, feel bad about something or the other, you know, in terms of gameplay or, you know, out of gameplay stuff. But we just, you know, you need to keep tabs on the ship, right? If there's holes appearing somewhere, right? Patch things up. Like, that's sort of what a lot of tournaments are, is fixing issues and patching things up as they appear. So we try to stay as up-to-date on that as possible. ايضا سالنا الكوين بحكم انه يعني الفريق خسر قدام تيم ليكويد في الابر براكت وكانت نتيجه 2-0 وهذه كانت اول مره زي ما احنا عارفين يكونوا في لان في اللور براكت، بس سالنا الخساره هذه طيب ممكن انها يعني غيرت نظره التيم لبعض وكان عندهم يعني توجه جديد ما قد ناقشوه اول، فوش سويتوا انتم عشان تقدرون يعني تحلون المشكله هذه؟ هل تكلمتوا مع بعض؟ وش صار بالضبط؟ فكان الجواب يتكلم على انه دائما احنا نحاول اننا نصلح المشاكل اول ما تطلع ونحاول اننا نكون اون توب على المشكله هذه على طول مجرد ما انها تظهر على طول Quinn, I'll let you recover your heart rate a little bit, but thank you to treating all of us to an amazing series of Dota and any shout outs that you have to everyone watching now a lower bracket run from Game and Gladiators. Uh, yeah, I mean, thanks to the, to the real people behind the scenes who uh, support us. Appreciate it. وين كان يشكر كل الناس اللي يدعمون جيم جلاديتورز وهم اللي يعني هم الشيء الاساسي اللي يخليهم يوصلون لما المرحله هذه فكان يشكرهم ايضا على البطوله That wraps up the second series let's continue this back to the studio خلونا على طول نرجع زي المشاهدين الى الاستديو نتكلم عن هذا الجيم اللي كان ابدا غير متوقع Thank you very much to to